What's up, peeps? It's your girl, Queen L. Eats. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And this is... Tweezy Flex. And today, we're eating the Wild Caught Alaskan Fish Sandwich. Wild Caught Alaskan Fish Sandwich. From Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen got fish sandwiches. They got fish sandwiches. I don't know. I don't know. I, I was like, they got fish sandwiches. So I'm pretty sure it's new in a limited time, you know. All right, let's say our prayer and get it in. I'm ready. Heavenly Father, bless over this food for the nourishment of our bodies. Let it give us health, strength, and knowledge in everything you would have of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. How y'all doing today? How y'all feeling? Mmm, -hmm. that look good. We hope good. We hope good. Mm -hmm. Heck of the Dairy Queen, Queen fries. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see it. Okay. I'm mad. Why? Because this is so good that I know they're not going to keep it. No. Because that's how they do. Y'all, look at this. When it's that good, they don't keep it. Tartar sauce. And they got um the sweet bread. Let me try it. Oh, my God. That thing real good. They put some love in that bread. <laughs> this bread was made with love. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. Mm. And the bread is so good. Mm, 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 mm. She got me two sandwiches. I know. I mean... Well, we got the hell light, y'all. It's dark. <laughs> we outside and it's dark, so. We got to have some light. Yeah, it's good. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Goops. That fish sandwich is off the chain. You know now, when you want a fish sandwich, go get you one from Dairy Queen. Why they got them? <laughs> you right. Because they're going to be like Bojangles. Bojangles fish sound so good, y'all. When they have it, it'd be a limited time. And it'd be like $5 for the combo. I get it every time. Mm. And that's how Dairy Queen going to do us. They're going to take it away. Mm -hmm. We're going to roll up. And that we don't have it no more. Mm -mm. Why they do this stuff that's real good they mm -hmm. give it to you for a little while and then take it away i just don't know but i know i do know one thing this is good they don't want good. people to get used to it You think it might be harder to keep up or maintain the fish grease rather than chicken? Mm. Nah. I think there's just marketing. Marketing strategy. Uh, you make it... When something is limited, people are more prone to buy it because they know it ain't going to be out for long. Right. So if you make something that's normal and then the fish sandwiches just, just become part of the regular menu, then eventually those sales will die and you're gonna have a whole bunch of fish just sitting in the freezer. Cause now it's just a regular item. Okay. But as good as they is, I think people are ordering. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think people order because the McDonald's had that fish sandwich. It's wet. He don't like the McDonald's fish sandwich. <laughs> I like it. When it's fresh. Now, I don't eat McDonald's that often. But when I do, I usually get me a fish sandwich. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This fish sounds so good. <laughs> Look at it. Look how they got the fish hanging out of it. 
<laughs> and they generous with the pinks. I thought there was somebody behind us. What was it? <laughs> no, looking. It was moving. What was it moving? Oh, man, it's the like reflections. Honey, don't scare me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being scared. Some people get a thrill out of being scared, but I don't. <laughs> you with me? You don't got nothing to be scared of. Like that frog slash snake. It's a snake. He took off and left me and Leah. <laughs> but I ain't got to worry about nothing. I'm not stepped on the snake. I better stay in shape so I can run. You do need to know how to run. It is a fad. <laughs> well, like we said before, <laughs> if two people take off running before you, <laughs> and you just happen to run with them after you see them take off, is you wrong for passing them? What are you supposed to slow down and jog? Mm -mm. That's a hard one. I pass them till I get they to try, They try to leave me. I just end up just running past them. <laughs> I didn't know what y'all running for because I already didn't handle the situation. You didn't handle no situation. I, I kept that snake. It was not no snake. <laughs> it was. How you know you didn't get that close to find out? <laughs> and so you see me jump and then step on and handle my business. <laughs> You take off running. Just left me in the park. They ain't never been there before. If you did, if you did all of that, why you take off running? If you handle the situation, because God took off running. Yeah. And this is no, it's a black person. In, everybody, it's the black person instinct. When you see people run, you don't ask questions. You don't try to figure it out on why they running. You just run. That's what you do. And that was the part that I've never been to before. I ain't know what y'all was running for. <laughs> now, this a root rule or something? Like, something happens around this time? <laughs> out here in the country? <laughs> We're out in the country at a part that I don't know, and they take off running, but I'm supposed to sit there and figure out why they running. Now, if something would have happened to me, y'all would have been like, why you didn't run? You seen us running? He ain't had to pass us. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey, you didn't care about me that much. <laughs> that was early in the relationship, y'all. Real early. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know if I'm good enough to be <laughs> handling nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got a little tell a story. <laughs> and you said it's going to be you. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. It's a trip. But that sandwich was good, y'all. That fish sandwich was on the money. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like it because it ain't greasy. Yeah, it wasn't overly greasy. You're right. It was fresh now. They had to cook it fresh. Because Leah wanted one too. Mm. I just hate it when people give us food and old grease. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't want that. Yeah, late night food. Uh-huh. This ain't late. It just got it get dark early, but this ain't late. Mm -hmm. We ain't doing that. We we'll just scrape up some in the kitchen before we get that <laughs> late night food. That late night food is people who saying they ready to go. They ready to go. They been there all day. They feet hurt. Is it true, guys? I mean, whatever grease. Whatever grease is left, at the end of the night, you got to dump it. It's done with. I mean, you can't 
you can't save Greece. Right. So when I worked at Long John Silver's, we had times when we time switch out of Greece. Now, also you got you gotta use common sense. <laughs> if you're supposed to change it as at, at say two o'clock. But you done had a whole bunch of people come in before 11 o'clock and, and that grease already about black. Go ahead and switch it. Don't be waiting at 2 o'clock to switch it. And then have people food just tasting. Yeah. So, you know, I, when I was a manager out there, you know, I stay on top of greases. I understand. It, it come, it's like a bucket. Yeah. Like it's, it's a solid form. It's solid? Oh, okay. <laughs> Lord. This is what you call it. A uh, cri uh, it with Crisco, Lord, shortening, mm -hmm. however, yep. You know, yeah. I just feel like this. Whatever you do, you do your best. Always. It's, you always do your best. Do the best you can. Don't have to do nothing. Just do your best. That way, when it's all said and done, you can say, I did my best. Instead of having all these shoulda, woulda, couldas. It going through your brain a hundred miles, excuse me, a hundred miles per hour, wondering if you had to did this or you had to push harder that nah, just just do the best you can the first time. No no regret. No, 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 I can't even talk y'all. No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> I can't even say no good. But you know, I like to think I'm okay at my job. <laughs> but oh, I don't make too many mistakes. I made a mistake today. <laughs> and uh, this guy worked for another company. Came and said, hey, man. Gave me the wrong paperwork, blah, blah, blah. I said, oh. But when he came back in, I had the right paperwork beside me. I said, I know. Here you go. And I apologize. I said, my bad. He said, don't it feel good to know that you're human? <laughs> That's what he said to me. <laughs> Say, hey, man, everybody make mistakes. You all right? You walked out the door. Right. That's it, you right. We all do make mistakes. Different mistakes. <laughs> we human. But you just got to do the best you can. I mean, how, how, what, what was the philosophy somebody had? Life's a... A box of peanuts? box of peanuts? Boss of chocolate. <laughs> Forrest Gump. I wasn't gonna say Forrest Gump. Somebody said, somebody said, life is like a motorcycle. You better ride that mother scooter. <laughs> you better ride it. I mean, you got to ride it. Yeah. Ups and downs. You still ride. Better hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Go flying off. <laughs> Every day ain't gonna be peaches and cream. I flew off my first time around the bike. You did. Yeah, I wrecked on the motorcycle too. <laughs> as soon as I jumped on, it took off. It took off. <laughs> I got, look, yeah, I was driving the motorcycle. I got all the way up to, I was on my, excuse me, I was, I was on my grandma's street. And the stop sign is on a hill. So I got all the way up to the stop sign, stopped. I don't know what happened, but the next thing I know, I was getting drugged up the street by the motorcycle. <laughs> I'm hanging out. <laughs> I don't know how. I, I don't know how that happened. All I remember was me hollering, and I think I did something you wrong. You holler. You quit. You don't do anything else. You gonna holler. I broke the clutch off. Is it the clutch or thing that? Yeah, I broke the clutch off. I said, God, dog it. All I know is hollering, getting drug up the street, and then I finally realized when I was falling off the bike, I was. <laughs> so the tire was spinning, so I was accelerating it. That's how it happens. Mhm. Mm I said, "God, dog, I ain't. I haven't jumped back on a motorcycle since. Thank God, I'm still alive to tell the story." <laughs> But yeah, y'all, life is like a motorcycle ride. It <laughs> when it's too much on you, slow it down. When it's good, ride it. Mm. What if life is like a Mike Tyson punch? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I didn't had plenty of them Mike Tyson punches. I didn't oh, felt, like, I didn't felt oh, like, yeah. I didn't felt like plenty of times I wasn't gonna get up. <laughs> Boy, them Mike Tyson punches. 
them might die some punches from life. You're like, oh my God. You got to sit there and take it. And, and I be it, taking them. You know, ain't going to get no better. <laughs> <laughs> but even though you all beat up and looking crazy and I hanging out, just know the next day can be different. The the next hour can be different, so you know you just never know. Yeah, I, you got to give yourself time. A question uh, came up: Would you fight Mike Tyson in his prime for a million dollars? I said, Hell no! <laughs> I need way more in there. Prime Mike, he gonna have you. I need way more. I need generational <laughs> wealth. <laughs> I need money with my kids, grandkids, and great grandkids are set for life because I ain't gonna be here. I seen a little training session and no, uh uh-uh, uh, not. Mm-mm. So, my he was training no. and I watched that the way he was hitting that bag. <laughs> and this is old Mike. So, <laughs> Mike and Roy got a fight coming up. It's an exhibition fight. So, if you don't know exhibition fights, oh, uh, you know, they gonna have the. The guards on or whatever, but it don't supposed to be no knockouts. Oh, right? okay. It don't supposed to be. We talking about Mike Tyson here, and so they asked Mike Tyson, like, "What is your mindset uh, going in?" He said, "My mindset is always the same." Oh my goodness, <laughs> Roy! Roy is gonna be in trouble. He got a lot of aggression built up. He ain't been fighting for a long time. And it's his DNA. So, it's going to be interesting. I'm paying for it. I'm watching it. You watching it? I think it's... I can't wait to watch it. I want to say Thanksgiving weekend. Oh, that's going to be good. It's coming up, so I need to go online and check. Mm-hmm. We don't want to miss that. I'm going I'm to watch it. Poor old Roy. I hope, I hope Roy getting shake. Last time I seen him, he had a, like a beer belly. <laughs> He was like me. And Mike Tyson <laughs> vegan now. And he shredded up. For real. Mike Tyson a vegan. He's been vegan for a while. He been I can't remember what year his book came out, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna fight Mike Tyson then or now. <laughs> he had to catch me because I'm running. I'm running. Yes. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Stay motivated, stay positive. Do what you can, okay? That's all we can do is do what we can. Do the best we can do. Peace out.